most people see others in light of their own experience. They use their own backgrounds, their own values, their own upbringing to judge or assess or communicate or reach out to others. And when they do that, uh, often trouble occurs. Mistakes happen. Misunderstandings, uh, instead of understanding, uh, take place between the two people who are struggling to communicate. Understanding children is the first step. Understanding, just like if it's colleague to colleague or spouse to spouse, understanding where that child is coming from and understanding their language um, so that you're not speaking two different languages without the aid of a translator. If you understand where that child is coming from, then you can meet his or her needs. I think too many times we try to take our students and mold them into these little people that we think that they ought to be because maybe that's the way we were taught. But to understand that we all don't learn like that, we all don't have to be the same, and we need to allow for those differences. Insight Learning has developed a way of helping us to understand the traits, the values, and the styles of people that show up in our classroom or our office or come in the door at home after a day at school. They help us to appreciate the strengths and the weaknesses of those styles. And if we do that, if we gain that appreciation, we'll be better at what we're trying to accomplish. The thing that I learned from the inside training was grabbing the kids' attention is key. When uh, we were discussing point of view in my classroom, and I had the kids stand up on their desk and just tell me the different point of view they got from being up on a high platform and just the different the differences that each kid saw each kid saw something different and and we took it from there that was just that simple hook I mean that was the example I was like wow this, this works and when you see those kinds of results and you start to internalize you know what you're hearing at this training and you see it working for you then you want other people to be able to use it the, people that were doing the training were so free and um, and nothing we said was wrong. As teachers we seem to let the children think that they're wrong if they don't do it the way we do it or things like that. So it was like a freedom to, to be who you were and also to grow at the level that you were comfortable in. This type of training really sells itself because you do go in and before long you do have, everyone has the aha uh, experience, now I get it experience. Um, and so I think it has most definitely had a profound effect on teacher success and therefore on student success. And because students become successful, it changes their whole attitude about school and success brings success and you break that cycle of failure. I really believe that the greatest motivation for children is to help them be successful. And once they're successful and they have that feeling of success, they're willing to take the risk and re willing to reach for the stars if they believe that they can. Every child is unique. Every child comes to us with many gifts. It is our job to find those gifts, to use them to make the child successful and to value those kids so that we value the child, making kids successful, making kids live up to all of their potential so that when they go out into the world and they don't have us there with them anymore, that we have provided for them the foundation that they need to be good citizens and to be successful in life.